Alright, Dave here with another exciting tutorial and today I want to talk about alpha channels. You've probably heard that term and are like, what the heck are we talking about here? So um, I'm in Maya and I just rendered out this image and I can see in the render view, and by the way, I rendered by clicking up here. Now, if I save this and open Photoshop, I want to alter the background. Okay, let's pretend that's my goal. Now, if I go here, I click on this button, and this is showing me the potential alpha channel. Okay, well, what does that mean? Well, it means that the black is going to be replaceable in Photoshop. Okay, and the white is going to be kind of permanently there. And I can see that I've got kind of this um, speckle effect. That's because the shadow is just kind of, um, you know, it's kind of blending into the background. So that's why it's like that and now we can click back on RGB and it's showing me kind of how my render is here so let's um, let's see what happens here now remember I said it's showing the potential alpha channel um, and why I say potential is because if I save this image so if I go to file save image I need to save this in a format that the um, so I'm going to save it in alpha motorcycle render. If I save this as a JPEG, okay, and I'm just going to name this JPEG, okay. So if I save it as a JPEG, notice I save it as color managed. Um, I want to make sure that I do that, otherwise it's going to come out really dark. Um, so I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And now if I go uh, file, save image, I'm going to try saving this as a PNG. And I'm just going to kind of, and I'm going to save this one as PNG. Okay, cool. And uh, once again, it's color managed. By the way, if it wasn't color managed, it would come out this dark. Okay, because I saved it as color managed, it's going to come out um, like this. So now what? Okay, well, let's go ahead and go into Photoshop. And I'm going to go ahead and open these up. So if I go here, I'm just going to go File, Open. And... I'm going to go to Alpha Motorcycle Render, and I'm going to open up both of these. Okay, great. And I can see here on the first one, this is the JPEG image. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of bring my tools over here. Um, okay, I have this one, which is the JPEG image, and then I have the PNG. You'll notice a significant difference right away that this one has the checker in the background, and this one does not. Okay, so... The JPEG image, a JPEG is a, a format that does not allow for transparency, okay? Now, another way that I could kind of check this is sometimes if you save an image, it may look like this, and you're saving it in a format that allows transparency, but you're like, wait, what the heck? Why, is, why don't I see it? Well, sometimes if you go to um, channels, okay, Sometimes there may be a, a kind of a hidden channel down here, and that's the alpha channel. Um, and you would be able to select it there. But you can see that, once again, the JPEG does not even hold an alpha channel. So, so if I wanted to change this background image, or even the color, I, I would have trouble selecting. You can see I'm using my magic wand. Maybe I use the switch to quick select. And maybe this does a little bit better job. But you can kind of see what a mess it is trying to select things and maybe I could get it with this one but I feel like it's just kind of a hassle to, to select that background if I wanted to change it but you can see the PNG has this the checker which is indicating that it's invisible so that means that on the layers here if I create a new layer and put this layer underneath I can go to my fill bucket and I could fill it with gray now it looks basically exactly like this one, but look at how easy I could just make my adjustments. I could even do a hue saturation, and I could change this, and you can see that I'm changing the background to any color that I want. I can see that I still have my soft shadows. Um, I could put an image back there. I could do whatever I want back there, okay? And it's really cool because, I, because the background has this potential of invisible and in fact and when I save it as a PNG it's automatically invisible so if we put this kind of side by side here um, 
okay, if I look at this, now if I click on this, now this is going to go away, but just kind of picture how this is. Now if I click on this, you can see that, picture that black as checker in Photoshop. And that checker is replaceable by anything that we want. So if this was solid white, that means that there'd be no alpha channel, and that means that I could not replace the background in Photoshop um, really at all. It's just going to be a solid image, uh, just like the JPEG. Even if I save it as a PNG, if this is solid white when I do this, it's indicating that there is no alpha channel. Okay, so when I go like that, it's indicating that yes, there is an alpha channel, and if I save it as a format that accepts the transparency, such as a PNG, then it will work, okay? And if you're wondering kind of what formats accept transparency, if I go here, uh, actually if I go to File, Save Image, um, think of it this way. Basically, JPEG does not allow transparency, and most, actually all of these other ones, roughly speaking, accept transparency. And I would think of it as this way. If you don't want transparency, you're going to get, and it, you want to save and have a slightly smaller file, save it as a JPEG. If you want the potential to use the transparency, maybe use a PNG. Okay, so just kind of a way to think about it, and hopefully that um, helped you out. Now if you were doing a, let's say you were doing a turntable in After Effects, well, you could bring this into After Effects and then it would still have that transparency and then you could still replace the background once again if you saved it as a format that allowed that. Now if you're doing that, if I go into the render se um, the render settings, I'd want to make sure that once again I choose a format that accepts transparency, verify that yes it does have transparency or that it does have an alpha channel and then I would want to make sure down here that alpha channel is checked and I feel like that should be checked by default but if it's not checked you want to make sure that you check that um, and that's it hopefully that kind of cleared up any confusion regarding alpha channels have any questions please leave them below make sure to like and subscribe new videos like this every every week so come back again and check them out